Here we are. How would you like to make a thousand to five thousand dollars a day? <laughs> that sounds great. Welcome to another episode of Living Room Conversations. <laughs> Looks like I have a really good idea. <laughs> Only when the light bulb goes on. Hi, my name is Ryan Nicodemus. And I'm Joshua Fields Milburn, and we're the minimalists. Um, Welcome back to Living Room Conversations. We're in my living room here in Los Angeles. If you hear a bunch of noise outside, that's because they are chopping down some sort of tree. They're out there making city noises. Yeah, it sounds like someone's riding a motorcycle on my balcony. <laughs> Which they might be. It might be podcast Sean just out there. Anyway, uh, we got a question today from Chopra. Chopra, yes. Chopra asks, should I break up with my girlfriend if she's not a minimalist? Man, no. <laughs> well, or, or I, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess here's here's what I would say to Chopra Ryan is, I can't tell you whether or not you should break up with your girlfriend, but it shouldn't be because she's not a minimalist. I concur. Uh, although I think if you're if you're seeking out a new partner, it's really important to find someone who has similar values, mm -hmm. probably some similar, similar beliefs, yeah. uh, similar interests. I think that's a really important one. It's often overlooked. And we often think of this dichotomy in. Um, in relationships where it's like if you really like going to monster truck rallies every weekend we'll find a partner that also loves going to monster truck rallies because it's going to be a, a more fulfilling relationship anytime you can share experiences together I think that's really important absolutely and so maybe it, it, what Chopra needs to get clear on is what are his values and then does his partner have similar values and if so it's okay if you have different interests it's okay if you have different uh, set of beliefs and, and you may get to your, those values via a different path. If you have radically different values, I can tell you it would be really difficult to sustain a relationship long term. Yeah. I think the question is, is does Chopra's girlfriend support him? Mm. And if Chopra, your girlfriend, is supporting you, then I don't know why you would remove someone from your life that is showing you so much support. But I do know why I have removed uh, some people from my life uh, in the past. And it's usually because uh, not, on, not only do they not support me, uh, my preferences, my lifestyle, um, in fact, they will uh, stunt my growth. They will hold me back. They will stress me out from moving forward with my life. If that's the case, then you might want to have a conversation and see maybe how you can get your girlfriend to support you. But ultimately, it's for you to decide, Chopra. Maybe you should break up with her. Maybe you shouldn't. But I'll tell you... Uh, the reason should not be whether she is a minimalist or not. Yeah, I, I think one of the things that's often really difficult is we have such radically different preferences from someone, it makes it really hard to live with that person. So, so uh, just because someone isn't a minimalist doesn't mean you won't have similar preferences. And so the question is, are you living together right now? And if, you, if you're living together, then you have to form a detente with, with your preferences. And it's it's a mingling of your preferences because it can't be, oh, it's my way or the highway. Well, that doesn't make for a good relationship. It doesn't make for a secure relationship. I don't feel fulfilled by something like that. And Bex would just come to me and say, here are my preferences. This is what goes. In fact, I often feel really good when I can, when I can acquiesce and say, you know what? I know that's her preference to have. Well, the dining room table that we have and, and chairs, that, that was her choice. Mm -hmm. But it's so similar to my preference, so you can see that. That's always something I would probably pick out, too. It's really close to it, that I can acquiesce and say, okay, I would definitely give you this one mm. because we're close to being on the same page. Some people aren't even in the same book, and that's mm. when it becomes a real problem. Yeah. All right, y'all. If you have more questions for Living Room Conversations, there's a comment section on YouTube. Leave your questions down there. We'll answer as many as we can. And if you like our answers, you can subscribe on YouTube as well. Just hit some button somewhere. <laughs> Is this where all of, do you have all, a bunch of pop-ups going up? Like, just subscribe here. <laughs> Click here for last week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's right after four advertisements. I wedge right into the middle of the video. No, we don't do that. Advertisements suck. All right, y'all. We'll see you next time. All right. This has been another episode of Living Room Conversation. All right, now we're going to send this tape off to a few producers. All right.